I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on rational functions. Given the function f of x equals to x plus 2 and g of x equals to 1 over x minus 5, determine equation of f of g of x. It's a composite function. Write domain of this function, range of the function, find x-intercept and y-intercept, and if possible, sketch the graph of f of g of x. Now let's understand what is composite function and how to find f of g of x. Now when we say f of g of x, it really means that the function f of x equals to x plus 2, so f of x is x plus 2, f of g of x is replace x with g of x, right? So x will be replaced by 1 over x minus 5. So we'll get this as 1 over x minus 5 plus 2. I hope that's clear to you. f of g of x. f of x is x plus 2. Replace x with g of x. But g of x is 1 over x minus 5. Therefore, replace x with 1 over x minus 5. So that's what I did. Correct. Now, we can take common denominator, which is x minus 5. And the numerator, we get 1 plus 2 times x minus 5 and this could be written as 1 plus 2x minus 10 over x minus 5 correct so f of gx g of x is this particular function which i can simplify 1 minus 10 is minus 9 so i can write f of g of x is equals to 2x minus 9 over x minus 5. So that becomes f of g of x. Do you get it? Right? So first you find the composite function f of g of x. Now the second part is write domain of this function. Now domain is all real numbers except the denominator cannot be 0. Right? So the domain of this function is, is uh, x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to 5. Since we'll have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 5. Correct? That's a restriction. Write range of the function. Now, as you can see from the function, if x is very large, then the function will approach 2. Degree of numerator and degree of denominator is 1. Therefore, there is a horizontal asymptote at 2 over 1 or 2. So, range is y belongs to real numbers where or you could write such that y is not equal to 2 since there is a horizontal asymptote right the first condition is because we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 5 and second condition is because we have horizontal asymptote at y equals to 2 so function is trying to approach 2 but it is never there find x intercept of this function x intercept is when the value of the function is 0 or the numerator is 0. So to find x intercept, we will equate the numerator to 0. Sorry, this is 9 minus. So we get x equals to 9 over 2. So that is the x intercept. How about the y intercept? y intercept is when x is equal to 0. So the y intercept will be at y equals to, if I write x as 0, I get minus 9 over minus 5 or 9 over 5, correct? So that is how I get these values. Now, let us sketch this function to really understand it, right? So let's sketch this function. We have all the required parameters here. So we have vertical asymptote at x equals to 5. Let us say this is our x equals to 5. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 5. Then this is 5. We have a horizontal asymptote at y equals to 2. So let's say this is y equals to 2. That is the horizontal asymptote at y equals to 2. Then we have x intercept at 9 over 2, which is 4.5, kind of close to 5, right? Let's say here. And y-intercept is at 
9 over 5. 9 over 5 is less than 2. So it's kind of here, right? Now from this, you can always sketch the graph of your function, which should be something like this. So it's approaching and then it will go through this kind of like this and like this correct so that is how the graph will look like correct approximately you can sketch the function like this this is f of g of x correct to make it more accurate i'll recommend that make table of values plug in some values for example x equals to 6 that's a good value to 2 if x is 6 then denominator is 1 and the numerator is 6 times 2 12 12 minus 9 is 3 so at 6 we are expecting a value of 3 so this point will be kind of at 3 if I say this is 6 here okay so likewise you can have few more points to have an accurate graph but more important than that are the basic characteristics what we need is what we have shown here is a vertical asymptote which is x equals to 5, horizontal asymptote y equals to 2, x and y intercepts and some points like I have just shown here, right? So that gives you overall good picture about this function of function. I hope with this example you also review how to find function of a function that is indeed a rational function here and then how to sketch it. Now as an added exercise you can write down the interval when the function is decreasing, the interval when the function is increasing, and the behavior near its asymptotes. Thank you and all the best.